Hi. Hi, I'm Caitlin. I'm Danielle. And we're together for our time of the month. And today we are bringing you our favorites, our most recent favorites. If you've been here before, especially recently, you know we've been just really loving an at-home mimosa. I want to start right up top with both one of both of our favorites. This is gifted, gifted to us. Um, and we're very thankful because we both wear glasses. We both have poor eyesight, as many of you also probably do. Yeah. Yeah. Zinf reached out to us and offered to send us two pairs each of free glasses. Yeah, so thank you to Zim. I have never bought glasses off the internet. I do go to Warby Parker, which you probably heard mm -hmm. me talk about, mm -hmm. but once they had in store, I started going in store. So I was a little nervous as somebody that has a very specific and strong prescription that the quality of the glasses would not be as good and that I would have issues. I can absolutely report they, I don't have that at all. Couldn't have said it better myself. I felt the same way. I was nervous. I, I wasn't expecting the quality and comfort that I have. Mm -hmm. You probably have noticed me wearing these in a few videos. But I Caitlin, know you have because people have mentioned them. Caitlin's were back ordered and then shipping delays, you know. So we each ordered one pair of eyeglasses and one pair of prescription sunglasses, which was yep. very exciting for you because it was your first pair. My first pair of prescription sunglasses. Do you know what I used to do? this and then put a regular pair of sunglasses over top of them. Swear. Kind of gob. And you know what I would do? Judge her. Cry. Yeah. Or be like, absolutely not. You're it's a idiot. no for me, dog. There was a little bit of an issue when I first ordered. <laughs> so we didn't go online and go through the whole ordering process like normal. We did work directly with a rep. So I ordered this pair of glasses, which I absolutely love. I, I them. put them on and I have not taken them off since I got them. I have not worn my old pair of glasses. These have been the only glasses I've worn. So when I met Caitlin, she wore tortoise shell lenses. Yes. And then she went to clear. Yes. And I love the hybrid. I told her that her face looked so much more open and she said that's exactly the word I would use. Yes. I just feel like even though they're darker, which I would have thought would have closed off my face yeah. they don't somehow so then I also ordered a pair of sunglasses so I picked these like very large kind of like 70s looking gold wire frames I call them her Brett Summers glasses from match game like they were gonna they were gonna match with a, a poolside moo moo they were gonna match with like a pina colada yeah and they arrived and there was um an incident when they uh assembled them in that they forgot to make them sunglasses but caitlin can i just be honest and say even if they were sunglasses it's a no for me elton john brett summers mix you look a little bit like a fly well but in sunglasses it would just be black but also it completely covers up your eyebrows. No, I know, it's very weird. I will say my vision, fucking great. <laughs> it's like looking out of a windshield. Because it's like 180 degrees, a very strong prescription. Luckily, I did, I um, let, her name was Amber, know that they arrived and they were incorrectly made. She immediately reached yeah, out and said she great. would replace them. She informed me that part of the reason that there was an issue is because my frame, my lens is so thick because yeah. my prescription is so strong. So making these into sunglasses just wasn't possible. They let me pick a different pair, and so I got these the other day. I actually have barely even seen these on my face. I like them because they're so different for you. Yes, they are very different. I tend to go for like very large and square. And I love obviously. the gold detail on the side. It's very like delicate right here. Yeah, so they're these really nice. They're, um, they have a great tortoise shell sort of little arm here. They fit super well. They're lightweight, which I appreciate. The one thing that I don't love, the lenses are lighter than I would like. If I was ordering them, I would investigate to see what the different lens shades are. Right. The other thing that I do struggle a little bit with is that normally when you go to a optometrist or an eyeglass place, they adjust them so that they fit you. You have to do that yourself, which is a little bit tricky for me. But otherwise, they look good. Thank you. I don't think I've ever been as in love with a pair of regular glasses as I have this. So I've always wanted a red frame. You've mm -hmm. known this. We've mm -hmm. looked in stores. That could have gone on one of the questions. I would have gotten it right away. Totally. Everything on the Zenf optical site is extremely affordable. My frames were under $30. So yes. I don't know how much the lenses were, but my frames were under $30. So after I received these glasses, I actually loved them so much. I went online and did go and like put together more pairs to order, which I still intend to do. I just didn't pull the trigger that day. So I think my glasses for two pairs, it was going to be like $250. That's 
so cheap which in the past that's what I would pay for one and that was really really cheap that's when I discovered Warby Parker if I mm -hmm. try to go through my insurance into like a lens crafters mm -hmm. it's hundreds of dollars yeah. so yes no I'm very happy very affordable I never would have thought that the prescription would be so on point neither did I so these are the lightest glasses that I've ever worn as far as weight and unlike Caitlin they're probably the best fitting glasses I've ever had so I've had my glasses tailored for my ears before and they always fall off my face and these I just took straight from the straight from the case put them on my face and they don't like they don't move around at all oh. and I've never had that luxury mm -hmm. so I really love these this frame is called the Mars frame I have a really good view of everything like I can see a little bit of the red but it's not distracting at all very comfortable the prescription is perfect I don't get a headache from them pressing on me, which is another issue that I usually had. If we have a discount code, it will be in the description box below, so check down there, but. Do you wanna show your sunglasses? Too? Oh, my sunglasses! Oh. First ever prescription sunglasses. My baby has grown up so much. These are my Joe Biden frames, baby. They're cool. And they're really dark. I like the tone that the glasses give. Yes. Don't worry about us. Don't worry about us. It was too us. cool for school. So if you've been wondering what's on her face, that's it. Just know I was dubious. And also we're very honest critics. Yes. So thank you Zint for sending us these glasses. We really appreciate it. I just, uh, yeah, I was really excited when they off. When I mean, I don't want to toot our own horn, but I think we look pretty great. Um, yes. So I recently purchased a sample size of the mm -hmm. Moroccan oil color depositing mask in the shade Coco. Cocoa. Cocoa. I think they have six or seven seven different flavors yes <laughs> colors and i think you would really like them i'm here to report best conditioning mask i've ever used my hair has never been softer no way like i wonder what their regular non-color depositing one is like to me it was better than olaplex <laughs> treatment what what it was better what? than the olaplex give treatment me, give me and i only left it on for seven minutes you're kidding and I got this much color pay I off. usually use this, these types of things for so long. So, I have yeah. a lot of hair. This was not enough product to coat everything. However, I've washed it twice since then, and I still think it looks great. Like, it super great. rich and pigmented. I'm feeling myself again with my darker natural colored hair. I've already added the full size version to my cart on Sephora because I absolutely love it. Yeah. It was super easy to work with and I thought it was going to be really messy and stain things and it was not. It was probably the best product I've used. I won't buy the Kristen S gloss again. Mm. I don't even think I would try to find another color depositing product because this is so great. Yeah. I will say you can immediately tell the difference and yeah. I haven't even seen you in a couple weeks for right. me to have like direct comparison, but I could tell as soon as you walked in that your hair was darker. Right. I I love it. My hair felt so soft and it was so shiny afterwards. Home run. So great. They have a lilac color. They have one for blondes and platinum blondes. They have pink, cocoa, turquoise, maybe a turquoise one. I think there are like seven different colors. Yeah. I've, I've almost bought it so many times that I've never pulled the trigger because it's, it's like a little bit more expensive. I'm so the full it. size bottle is $28, which I think I could get three uses out of it. Maybe more. Mmm. I'm gonna get it. And I've had this in my hair for almost two weeks and I still think it looks as pigmented as it did. Wow. It's fading so slowly. That's nice. This is the Eva NYC Shape Shifter Texturizing Hairspray. Oh. So she hasn't been using it as a hairspray is what that means. Yes. That's 100% what that means. Oh. Oh. In my mind, this was that only a texturizing spray until the moment that I just read it. Uh, but I love this. And I actually, so I've been out of it for about a week or two. And every single day I have been irritated that I don't have it. And I have three other texturized, four other texturizing sprays. Eight other. No, <laughs> four, no it's definitely four. Um, in my closet. But this is the one that I want. Like I am using those begrudgingly, but this is the one that I keep wishing was still there. It does specifically say I deliver a non-sticky grip and workable hold to locking your styles. And it's true. I will say it's a little, I don't think it's as flexible as you would think it's gonna be, but if you like sort of tousle it or, or brush it through after you've done, it's mm -hmm. definitely flexible. 
but it's also buildable. And that's the most important thing for me is that, you know, I never wash my hair. So I need products that can layer over top of each other yep. and not screw up future days of hair. This one I feel like I can use from day one and then day two and then day three and then day four and it, it will work and I can brush it out and then restyle it. And actually it kind of styles better mm -hmm. because I have the product already in my hair and it helps hold. Yeah, love this, will absolutely be repurchasing. I think I originally purchased it when it was on clearance. My next product was something that was also gifted to us and these are the Cake Off reusable makeup remover pads from Super Sponge. They're washable, I put them in a laundry bag and I throw them in the washer with my towels and other like sheets stuff like that and they're so soft they remove makeup so wonderfully I don't know how it happens like I've seen these I've seen face halo I've seen makeup eraser and I'm like uh-huh whatever mm -hmm. better than a washcloth I gotta say better than a washcloth so in one order of the cake off pads you get three different squares and one side is a little bit more textured, but not scrubby, but not scrubby. And then the back side is just like a straight up velour puff, which I think you could even use for like, have you tried that yet? No, but I want to. I remember you had talked about it when we first got them. Yeah. I saturate it with water, squeeze everything out. And then after I have my face wash on, I will just, I'll use the white side and like rub it all off. And this thing is covered in orange and pink and brown. And it's just disgusting. And then I rinse it out and it rinses pretty clean under mm -hmm. my sink. And then you just hang it up with this little thing. So I like hang it on the shower spout or on my drain. Mm -hmm. What's that called? Plunger. Plunger. Thank you. Love them so much. I have not really used them. I really am impressed. This was also gifted. I'm sorry. I hate them when we do that when it just so happens that they are all in a row. It is the... But it's honest. It's honest, we're telling you, we would never not. It is the Elemis White Flowers Eye and Lip Makeup Remover. It has a bi-phase makeup remover. So I've been experimenting with a lot of mascaras recently. And so I have also been experimenting with eye makeup removers and I have really loved using this. I'm actually surprised at how much I love an oil makeup remover. I kind of thought that I wouldn't like it, that it would leave me feeling greasy or whatever or oily, but I think because I already double cleanse, it doesn't really matter, but it actually just adds another layer of moisture. So like I'm laying down an oil mm -hmm. that's going on my skin as my first cleanse, and then I am cleansing it off with my second cleanse, but it's still like, there's gotta be some of it. It's like a barrier. Around. Yes. But it, cuts through eye makeup like I can't even tell you. It takes off my mascara in the, some of the largest chunks I've ever felt. And it's so such a light touch, which I really like because I don't want to tug or rub at my eyes. I really like it. I don't know how expensive it is, but I know that it's expensive. It's like 40 bucks. So I probably won't be purchasing it. But if it found its way into my life, I would take it and use it and love it. I agree. It was the best eye makeup remover I'd ever used. Next, some nail favorites. I was a big Ooh. Olive and June doubter because I tried her polishes directly from Target and they were trash. Mm. I don't know why, but I've talked to a couple other people who said that when they bought polishes directly from Olive and June, they were exponentially better than when they bought them from Target. And I gotta say, I finally trusted my friend Megan and I was like, okay, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna order directly from Olive and June. And they were right which is really strange to me. I don't like that. I don't either. So don't buy them at Target because they're not the same. So I'm wearing Olive and June CV on my nails right now, which is a great red. And so when I placed this order of nail polishes, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna look at the accessories too. So I threw in the dry drops, which were brand new at the time, and the cuticle serum with cactus flower pen. It's like a cuticle pen that moisturizes your cuticles. This. So I bought it in a two pack. I keep one in my nightstand and I keep one in my purse. It clicks up like the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer and you just like run it along your nails and you're done. I need it, I think. It's lovely and it's so easy. You don't have to like dip into an oil container like I did with my Sally Hansen cuticle oil. No must, no fuss, I really love it. And then these dry drops, I've tried dry drops, dry drops in the past. Well, these dry drops. It sounded like a prospect. Like hunting for gold. Westerner. Exactly. These work better than any other quick dry nail polish mm. 
addition I've ever tried. They don't have a scent. They are quite moisturizing because they're kind of oily, but this really helps speed up the drying process. I wouldn't say like go look for your keys in your purse, but like feel free to type on your computer. Yeah, flip a page of a book. Flip a page of the book. Remote right. control. Yeah, do some basic things. Don't open a LaCroix can. Don't try to go pee and unbutton a pair of jeans. But like pull down your sweats. You could do that. Yes, you could probably like With get a pair thumb. of leggings down. I just really have been liking these very much. Great job. Very much. I don't know what else to say. That's just nice. Right? So easy. I don't know if this is the kind of favorites that y'all want to see, but like... It is the favorite that I'm really the most about. I was recovering from eczema on my face. And when I say eczema on my face, you're probably like, oh, like a little like dry spot? No. I had like... It looked like your eye sockets were bleeding. <laughs> it was awful. It was all around my eyes and it spread down around my mouth. And I went to the dermatologist, was prescribed a prescription medication that my insurance then denied, which was super fun. And then that process just really sucked. I happened to mention it on a live or in a video and a bunch of people gave recommendations and one person just said Eucerin. I was, I was like, okay, well that's easy. I'll run out and grab that and try it. I put it on my face 20 minutes later after I bought it and I immediately noticed a difference. Mm -hmm. I loved it. I do think that it is the reason that my eczema cleared up. I never ended up getting that prescription medication and I slathered it on and it cleared up it, within two weeks. Yeah, but it was, it was noticeably fast. better within three days. So I didn't even, I wasn't even concerned about it. Unfortunately, oh, uh oh, I have now developed dermatitis again. And this here. is, yeah, all right here. And it's, um, while it doesn't help help with the dermatitis, it's not gonna clear it up, it does help with the scaly skin. So if I am at work, I will just apply it over top of my makeup, I'll pat it in. Other than it gives you a little bit of a sheen, but it's kind of glowy. I wouldn't even call it yeah. like sweaty or oily looking. I agree. It just looks kind of glowy, which I was shocked by. I never thought it would work. I thought it would like collect all my makeup in that sort of splotchy way, but it doesn't. It can pat right over it. it is extremely extremely helpful it's i mean on their rich scale of light to rich it is the richest that there is fragrance free dermatological skincare for extremely dry compromised skin so i'm just trying to keep super moisturized until i can clear up the dermatitis i predominantly drink coffee mm -hmm. water mm -hmm. and then i move into wine uh-huh i like tea but i'm not like a daily tea drinker there we go that one piece was just... You're a big tea drinker. I'm a big tea drinker, yeah. So I will drink one cup of coffee in the morning, and then uh -huh. I will drink tea all day. Right. Until, like, 5 o'clock. Right. I drink one cup of coffee in the morning, water all day, and then wine or just continue with water. Mm -hmm. But there is one tea that is, like, my holy grail favorite. It's the tea that I've been buying solidly for, like, seven years, and it's the Harney & Sons Fine Teas hot cinnamon sunset. We've been having a little bit of a debate here in the space because she thinks it smells like red hots mm -hmm. and hot cinnamon and hot cinnamon sunset would sound like it's spicy. But it is not. I don't like a, I don't like cinnamon gum. I don't like big, big red gum. I yeah. don't like hot cinnamon. So I don't know how they've done it, but this is a black tea with cinnamon, orange, and sweet clove. Mm. Sweet clove is where it's a game changer. So orange and sweet clove, I'm in. Cinnamon I don't I promise fuck with. you. I do not fuck with it. So I have one tea bag left and I'm gonna make it before she leaves because I'm making her try it. Don't do it. This is the only tea that I refuse to add any sweetener to. Oh. I'm kicking myself that I already haven't replenished my stock because this is the tea that I continuously reach for. Whereas Mike is like, I'm gonna have chamomile, I'm gonna have this, I'm gonna have chai or whatever, mm -hmm. lavender bullshit. I am always reaching for this tea. I love it so much. I just think it's it's the perf it's the perfect blend and the perfect flavor and everything about it. It's so wonderful. I like the tin. Mm. So uh, another product that I had recorded already and said that I loved and I'm telling you again because they're that good are the Tower 28 glosses. I agree. Hmm. So around the time of the end of the year Sephora sale last year, I placed a Sephora order online or we went in store, I can't remember. 
And then only after I had already spent hundreds of dollars did I then go online and look at what everyone else on the internet was buying from the Sephora How sale. How much did we spend during the sale? A lot, but it doesn't matter really. What's the difference between seven and eight hundred dollars? Small percentage. But anyway, so my dumbass self decided to buy a bunch of stuff and then go online on YouTube and look at what everyone else was buying. And the one thing that I did notice on channel after channel after channel or blog after blog is the Tower 28 glosses. They looked great. And I'm, I'm like working my way back into glosses. I had found a couple that I liked and I had told you about them. And then I found these. Yep. I retract what I said about other glosses being good because these are really the ones that are good. They are so thin and comfortable. They don't, are, they don't, they're like almost like an oil gloss hybrid. I agree. Because they're not sticky. They have the emollients. They're wet, wet. Wet, wet of an oil, but they're not going to slide. They're not going to melt off. They still are viscous enough to like grip to your lips and stay within your lip line. I don't know, they're just perfect. So- You know what they are? What? Some might say that they're juicy. Oh yes. So I went ahead and bought almond. Loved it so much that I immediately went back on the website. Cashew was back in stock. I bought it. Not only did I buy one, I bought two because I knew that if I loved it this much, Danielle would love it this much. So I went she ahead and right. I went ahead and bought her one. I would recommend either color. Everyone else on the internet was going heavy, heavy on the cashew, but it's much warmer, much pinkier. Um, almond, while it looks straight up like poo brown in the container, ends up going on a very beautiful like pinky nude. They're also under $20. So while they're not inexpensive, they are definitely like a mid-range when it comes to a lip gloss. It's a unique formula. I think that's yes. the difference. Like the color is not unique, but the formula is. Yes. It feels like you're doing something beneficial for your lips when you put it on. It feels moisturizing. It's thin, mm -hmm. but it's weightless, still, but it's glossy. Oh. Yes. Highly recommend. I'm on track to read 96 books this year. Just <laughs> Are you really? I read eight in January. Oh my God, 96, that's too many. I think I could do it. Okay, I trust and believe in you. Honestly, when pandemic is over and like everyone's vaccinated and healthy and we can have a normal life again, I'm be like, I'm sorry, I cannot hang out because I have to read 96. I still have to read 75 more books. And I think a really big reason is because our friend Katie bought me a Kindle for Christmas. And I was a Kindle poo pooer. Papua. I, I had the original Kindle, the OG. I loved it. It even had a fucking button keyboard on it, like a Blackberry. Mm, mm -hmm, I remember that. I loved that thing because it had like page buttons on the side that you could click. And so as a left-handed lady, it was easy for me to turn the page, turn the page. That died. A few years later, I did end up getting a Kindle Fire. I wish I never would have bought it. I do not like it. It was basically just like another iPad. So I was like, I could just read a book on my iPad. It's bigger anyways. It can read more words on one page. Mm -hmm. So then like last year I super ramped up my reading again and it was really hard for me to get books from the library that were physical like hard or paperback books because the wait list was so long because yeah. everyone's home. Yeah. And and they quarantine the books for two weeks before they, do, they put them back in circulation. Great. And our friend Katie has pretty much only ever really read on Kindles as long as I've been around her. Like she would take it camping and I always thought like that's so smart because you can read in the dark. Mm -hmm. And then for Christmas she su surprised me with one and I was I was genuinely surprised because mm -hmm. I thought like that's such a nice and thoughtful gift but also something I wouldn't have bought for myself because I was so against them. Mm -hmm. But then she was like, you gotta get Libby, which is the digital download app that links to the library. Mm -hmm. So I can still use my library cards and rent books from the library and get them way sooner than I was with the like hard copy books. Mm -hmm. I've read one hard book this year. No so way. I'm on my ninth book of the year right now and eight of them have been on my Kindle. Oh. Okay. Wow. It doesn't hurt your eyes, so even when your partner is sleeping at night or you or you sleep alone and you want to turn the lights off so you can help yourself get tired, the backlight from this is not like an iPad or a computer. It doesn't have that blue light, so it doesn't strain your eyes, it doesn't mm. hurt. It's also not super bright that it's going to keep someone else awake, 
and I just love how portable it is. I could travel with it, not that I'm going anywhere right now. I really enjoy the convenience of it, and I changed my life last night when I bought a pop socket. Oh, that was just last night. So I went and I bought a pop socket, and I put it here because I'm left-handed, so I like to hold things in my left hand, but like I can't turn the page because the page is over here to turn it. Oh. And so I feel less in control with my right hand. So I bought a pop socket, put it all the way to the right. And now I could just like click through the pages. Cause then you can also still hold your cup of coffee in your left hand. Like you want to. Yes. You can in theory, write If you wanted to be on your phone and you're can pop socket. Wow. Sponsor me. Double pop socket. Dun, 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 dun. Sponsor us. Sponsor us. Cause my tiny hands swear by a yes. pop socket. I could not have an iPhone That's without a thing. it. I think it's the paper white. Mm -hmm. And if it's not the paper white, it's the version right before it that doesn't have the glare and the blue light. It's not a color screen. It's wonderful. I can't say enough good things about it. It's under a hundred dollars. If that thing dies, when it dies, I will buy another one. Yeah. I have been actively not buying things. That is a lie. I was actively that not buying things. Remember cheeky loft order you Well, so that, oh. okay, I'm getting to that. Oh, That's oh, oh. the whole point. Okay, so I wasn't spending money. Okay. I was not spending money. I had not bought anything in a very long time other than groceries <laughs> or like home, not even home goods. Like, like necessities. Cleaning products. Ooh, look at that. Loft was like 60% off, hoes. So I went ahead and I did buy some things and I think I placed about, it was about a $250 order, which is significant. But considering what you got, Caitlin. Considering that I got 23 items, but the things that were the best <laughs> out of my order that I've, that I like am so in love with and I'm so happy with the per, with the purchase and with the item are two coats and I paid $38 for them. So the first one, which I would consider my fancy coat, it's not a pea coat, but it is like, Honestly, I'm gonna refer to it as my inauguration coat. I know they call it a herringbone coat. Very subtle, subtle. So I, when they called it a herringbone coat online, I couldn't even quite tell why they called it that, but there's a very, very minute herringbone pattern, but it's overlaid with this like slightly furry, um, it has a single button, really beautiful pockets. And the thing that I'm so blown away by yeah, is like how thick and well lined it is. The quality, most people don't feel this way, but I would prefer that yeah. a coat actually come up maybe about three quarters of an inch above my wrist. I think you're right. Um, but I am like not gonna- a skinny jean for your arms. Exactly. But yeah, it's so soft. It is. The lining is very silky. It has very large functional pockets. And I just feel like it's one of those things where you're like, Look how Let casual. me just throw this fucking coat on, but it's a fancy ass coat. It elevates a really simple look. And again, thirty-eight dollars. Oh my god, I'm not buying myself. <laughs> Put it on. It actually fits really well in Mike, so it is. I would say it's unisex. You and I sex. You would. Oh, this. Would, if I was really into this, would be a good flasher coat. It would be. Yeah. So the other coat that we're gonna use this on our fun. on our model is this giant, Ooh. like parka yeah and i'm surprised you didn't already have something like this because i yeah. see you in this coat i wore it when it was snowing and it's it's water repellent so snow and water just like came right off of it it's in the sleeves it has a quilted lining and then in the body it has a fur lining and very soft fur yeah like not teddy fur not that itchy. Round it's that, no it's like you do look like john snow thank you and so the way that they did it is that the hood is fur lined. So when you just need the hood, then you look like Jon Snow, a fucking uh, white walk. No, not white wall. White wall. He's the wall, wall black, guardian. Black, 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 black something, right? Yeah, so whatever his like fancy position was, that's what it looks like. It has both buttons and a zipper. And everything gold, I, I love it. Very, yeah, very like matte gold. I will say the zipper sucks a little bit because they didn't give you any uh, uh, like any gusset on the one side of the zipper. So it's very tight. So you have to sort of, like I struggle with I it. I dare you to find another YouTube channel that's talking about the fucking gusset. The gusset? Are they the talking zipper. about the gusset? Gotta have gusset? But it covers your butt. And it has a nice slit here, so that's flattering. And it's, and it's cinched around your waist. Oh yeah, and it's adjustable. Could I say it one more time? Do it. $38. $38. Good one, honey. Appreciate you. 
Caitlin and I are planner hoes. Yes. We get very excited for the turn of a new year because we love to get a new planner. And stickers and pens. Stickers, pens, all accessories. of it. Accessories. I like to feel like I have my shit together even when I know I don't. Yes. Organized chaos. That's how I feel when I have a planner. Bought a planner in 2020. <laughs> As a joke. We actually we actually did joke about that so many times. Like, wow, I really wasted like I finally bought the planner of my dreams last year and, and paid like $30 for it and then it I good didn't use it. No, it was Same. a great planner. It was the planner I've always wanted and then I bought it in a year where I have nothing to plan. So we oopsied on that. But how would we have known? How? How, how? could we have possibly known? How? So this year I was like, you know what, 2021, even if we're still stuck at home, there's still things that I need to plan for myself to do. <laughs> No, but for real, like whether it's a commitment with work or yeah. um, like Barkley's medication because he's on stuff twice a week right now, it can be kind of hard to keep track of or we have sponsorships coming up. And so I just wanted to have a place to put everything beautifully. And so I asked on Instagram if anyone had planner recommendations mm -hmm. and we got about 30 and I finally narrowed it down to like three different brands. And the one that I just kept coming back to was by Plum Paper. And it's not the most beautiful planner you've ever seen, but it is the most practical of the bunch because it was so highly customizable. I don't even know why I picked my initials, but I was like, I don't really know what else to put what here. What else would you put? You didn't have to put anything, but I was oh. like, I want to put something. Mm -hmm. The beautiful part about these planners is that you can choose the layout that you want. So. I'm very much someone who like, I want the full month laid out, but then I also want vertical or sorry, horizontal days for planning out my weekly activities. So you could choose if you want it vertically, you can have like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday like this, or you could do it the way that I did it. And I really like it. You could personalize every single header. You could personalize the stuff up here. There's like a little chart up here that you could do like, habit tracker if you have kids that are in sports or different extracurricular activities you can make things specific for their names and they allow you to print it directly into the book mm -hmm. i ordered the blog planning insert for the end of every month Question and then i also two. ordered ordered the fitness tracker so for the blog one i can put important dates our priorities giveaways that we have coming up any ads or sponsored posts i can do brainstorming mapping and then like scheduling of when things are gonna go live and I just thought this is so great for us yeah and especially for me to reflect back on in the years I didn't notice this that's cool blog stats mm -hmm. like you can track how how like how active your users are and whatnot and then I also added the fitness page I like that it's just very practical and I don't know I'm really into it I was I was super impressed at the customization options if you have kids or a really hectic schedule, I think this would be great for you because you can just edit it to be whatever you need it to be. And I really appreciated that. Oh, my other favorite thing. You can have the dates that you want to remember printed into oh, yes. the calendar. So all of our birthdays are I printed in here. I want, I got a special one for you though. I printed our our time of the month anniversary in our planner, which is coming up in March. If you wanted to wish us a happy it's anniversary, the 13th, March 13th. So, is there an upcharge to do that? There is, but it's not very much. Yeah, I think it's like five dollars to add up to a hundred specialized dates. That's the first thing I do when I get a planner is I go through and write all the birthdays. So Wait, it's I funny that you can pre-plan that. Yeah. Danielle put a T and I also put a T. It's completely unplanned. So one of the things that I picked up randomly was this Celestial Seasonings Vermont Maple Ginger Herbal Tea. It's caffeine free. I mean, it's heavy maple syrup, but it has a lot of warmth from the ginger. So I won't say you, I don't think you get ginger flavor, but you get that warming smell and taste from ginger. Actually, I do smell a little ginger. It's very, I will say it's very intense. Like when you brew it, you smell it in the room when you're brewing it and drinking it. And it just, it's the first, like I obviously add no sweetener to it because the primary it's flavor maple. is maple. So it is sweet, but it's just like smooth and sweet and calming and, but it's like a treat. It really is delicious. Mm -hmm. I've been a big fan. I have a little bit at work. I have a it's little bit cute. at home and I would repurchase it time and time again. 
Did you know that Celestial Seasonings is kind of like a cult brand though? Is it? I just sent an article to Katie and Mike because they love Celestial Seasonings. I didn't know you drank it, so Wait, I'm gonna send it to you. what's a cult brand? What does that mean? Oh no, 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 like they're a brand that's kind of founded on cult. What? Principles. I'm gonna send you the article. Oh no. It's fine, I mean, I like their stuff a lot. We're done with it. We're not doing it anymore. <laughs> cult. I'm really big into cults, that's why I found this out. That's so weird. The guy who started the company, his name is like, not that, that is not his name, it's like Mo Charlie. something. He was a really big believer in the New Age Bible, which was um, the Bible inspired by Seventh Day Adventist movement, mm. the Seventh, mm -hmm. Seventh Day Adventist movement. Except he thought that it supposedly communicated to an unknown man possessed and put into a trance by aliens. <sighs> what? Mm -hmm. What? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Where do people get these things? Watch the last video. Watch, Watch the next video. video. Watch all the videos. Comment. Ring the bell for notifications. Comment down below with like, whatever the fuck you want, really. Like it. Like it. Subscribe. Subscribe. Share it. Share it with your friends or family. Uh, and cut, cut it. it.